I'd always been interested in alternative energy sources and as being involved in the Volvo Ocean Race for a long time, there was, I always thought there was a market for it. The open 60s use a lot of different sources and in all honesty, I'd, I was just looking on Twitter one day and saw a tweet from Silent Wind, so I started following Silent Wind. I looked, they were very close, uh, just over the border in Portugal, so I was based in Spain. And I just sent the guys an email, um, and picked up the phone, gave them a call and asked if they'd be interested to uh, help or be a partner of the boatyard and assist the boats and if there was any issues that the boats could have an alternative power source to what they have on board today. It always gets left to the last minute, something like this. So what we did, we worked with Mastervolt, we worked with Diverse Yacht Services, we worked with Silent Wind to ensure that when the units did arrive it was minimal work to set them up and it was very last minute but we started testing with the boats during the assembly period in Alicante and from day one we just set it up and it started producing power which was, you know, it was something great to see and it's just the future. They are a backup power source because we do the primary power source is uh, via the main engine with alternators and they are a backup power source and when teams felt they needed to use them they deployed them and after each leg we get a breakdown of um, the power consumption, um, the power production and you can easily see the curves of um, when the silent wind was in operation. In one instance, generally over a 48 hour period, you charge five times with the silent wind in operation, the charge was down to only three times. I really hope to see something more along these lines in the future in the race and it's gonna be my personal endeavor to make sure that happens.